Welcome to Reeves Reed Arboretum. I'm Kathy Fox, one of the docents here. And in a normal year, I'd be doing tours live, in person. But because so many of you are sheltering at home and miss the Arboretum, we're going to do a series of virtual tours on video for you to look at at home. So today's is the Susie Graham Reeves Rose Garden. None of the roses you see here today date back to Mrs. Reeves' time. Over the years, roses die, get replaced, and a few years ago, the Arboretum lost lots of roses to a very, very cold winter. The decision was made not to try to replace them with similar hybrid teas, but to go for a very hardy kind of rose, something that could live through the winter, and also something that would not be needy. Mrs. Reeves loved roses, and she was very proud of them. She entered them in competitions, and when the gardens were beautiful like this, she would put a sign on the gate and say, come in and see my flowers. She also would go around and cut bunches of them and send them to the hospital so that the patients could enjoy them too. The Arboretum believes in environmental stewardship. We're showing roses that don't need a lot of chemicals. This is one of the Arboretum's hardy roses. This is called the Knockout Rose. It's a fairly new rose, developed in the 1990s. It doesn't get bugs. It is not susceptible to the mildews and other diseases of roses. So it's a great choice for easy care gardens and also gardens that don't damage the environment. This is my favorite of the roses of the Arboretum. It's unusual. It's the only one we have here that has multicolored petals and they form a sort of a starburst pattern like the burst of fireworks. So this one is called 4th of July. The rugosa can grow almost wild in some places. If you've been to Cape Cod, you've probably seen it growing all over the place. And because it's so tough, it doesn't mind growing in the salty air near the ocean. And on Cape Cod, they call it the salt spray rose. In Alaska, they call it the Sitka rose. And here we call it the rugosa rose because that is the scientific name, Rosa rugosa. You can tell the rugosa because it has a lighter green foliage than other roses and it has simple flowers. The classic rugosa, which came to the U.S. in the middle of the 19th century, has uh, just five petals and they open quite wide. Another feature of the rugosa is its rose hip. All roses produce rose hip, that's the fruit, but the rugosa produces a large one. You can make jam out of it, and in the fall it turns a beautiful orange, so you have interest even when the flower is not in bloom. So it's a great rose, easy to grow and very beautiful and it smells lovely. Shrub roses like this one have been grown for centuries, has very dense foliage and the flowers have many petals. This rose is sometimes called a cabbage rose because the petals are close together like the leaves in a head of cabbage. It's also called centifolia which means 100 petals. This rose is called Carefree Delight. It is a profuse bloomer. If you look, you can see lots of buds. The flowers are small and simple, but very pretty. Thank you for being part of our virtual tour today. I hope you enjoyed it. And please check the website again because we'll be doing more tours. And as always, Thank you for coming to Reeves Reed Arboretum.